morning and welcome to the Lady Do build site. Uh, it's a Saturday morning at 6 a.m. It's a little cloudy, but cooler, so a lot easier to weld in. Last weekend I had installed most of the knife edge for the engine room hatch. This weekend I needed to finish up the corner pieces of the knife edge. Now the knife edge is what smashes up against the gasket of the door itself, so it needs to be straight all the way on the inside. I had got the door mounted and I tacked it closed. Then what I did was I pushed the knife edge, which I just used inch and a half by quarter flat bar, up against the door. Then tacked it into place and uh, got it welded in. Now when I say that I push the knife edge tight up against the door. My intention there is, is I cut slots in the hinges so that there's about a half an inch of play, uh, fore and aft for the door. So when I pour in a half inch worth of gasket material into the door, it'll push it away a half an inch. As the gasket wears out, it will move closer and closer until the steel knife edge could literally touch the steel door. Everything wasn't perfect and so there was some gaps along the outside edge of the uh, knife edge and uh, station 30 the bulkhead so i added some inch and a half by quarter flat bar all the way around the outside to a fill in the gap but i also was intending to do that anyways to stiffen up the section where the door connects to the to the bulkhead whether it's required or not i don't know but it was worth it for me to go ahead and install it So that's a knife edge in. I still got grinding to do and I still got some welding to do. But the knife edge itself is in. And I'm wondering if I should mount the door or put the door away because it's just going to be. What are you doing? I'm uh, trying to see if my lower pintle is going to be in the right place. Um, I cut up some pintles. This one is supposed to weld to about like so. It's uh, literally a uh, half, well, it's a half an inch longer than the rest, but what it should be is two inches for me to connect all this, and then four inches for the gut, the gudgeon, which is I'm going to use the four inch, quarter inch, four by quarter flat bar to do the the bands on the rudder, and then uh, I'll put a four inch pipe on the forward piece of it. That gives me an inch and a half to figure out how to uh, uh, keep the rudder from coming up. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to thread it. I don't think there's enough room for threading it. So it's probably going to be a pin, like a cotter pin or something. Okay. Because there ain't a whole lot of pressure pushing up. This right. rudder is going to weigh 300 pounds. It ain't going to come up easily. No. <laughs> um, so if I drill and pin 
each of the four pintles going up, that should keep it secure, especially if I use big enough pins, which I might use quarter inch bolts or something just to make sure. Um, so it should be four inches to handle the gudgeon and then an inch and a half for the rest. This one I did a half inch longer because it's all, I know from hanging house doors, if all three, uh, uh, or if all the, the hinge pins are all exactly the same length, you gotta try to line all, all of them up at the same time before you can set down the, the rudder, the, or the door in this case. Oh, okay. So if I make one a half inch longer, then I can set it, not worry about the others, <laughs> slide it on a half inch before I got to worry about the others, and it'll help secure it and make it easier to put on. Okay. Because the thought is, is I want to be able to uh, pull the rudder and repair it even at sea, which sounds all wonderful and good, but you got to be able to put the thing back, too, on a pitching and rolling boat. Okay. But I am going to shape the front a bit. Imagine this is this way. Okay. This is a CAD uh, drawing of my boat showing the gudgeon and pintle combination. Uh, what I was trying to convey was that the leading edge of the rudder would be beveled at a 45 degree angle and that I got to wrap this quarter inch by four inch flat bar around it. This is the boat here. Okay. Uh -huh. This will be one and one half inch wide. Right? Just this, okay. Yeah, that flat spot. And then 45 degree here and here, right? So if that's inch and a half and this is three and a half, these are each going to be one inch. Great. One inch, one inch. Okay? Now, here's the thing. I'm going to basically wrap the rudder in a four inch chunk a quarter inch thick flat bar and you know of course it'll bend here come back to wherever that is bend again and then come straight back right okay so like the rudder's hollow no the rudder's full okay. this is wrapping on the outside of the rudder okay it wraps the boat. okay 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 yeah. then um as this piece comes back I'll drill holes in it and through bolt, you know, it'll come out the other side, through bolt these to the rudder. Okay. Okay. And then on the front of this will be something to the tune of this. Right? Thereabouts. Okay. Why is that? It's supposed to be four inches, but whatever. Then, of course, these are welded to the boat. Right. Which they need to finish welding. Yeah. And it slides over the top like this. And this is right. Now chances are I'm going to put um, some kind of bearing material in here so this doesn't grind away at it. Right. And it'll probably be nylon or wood or something. Okay. Okay. So you got a general idea where I'm going with this. That's Scrap. four inches. This is three and a half. What happened to the four inch? Okay, well, I gotta go get a four inch. Somehow I grabbed a three and a half. So, <clears throat> would it be better to bend these here and here and come straight back? Or cut them and weld it. I'm leaning towards welding it right now. And the reason why is uh, I don't know how I'm going to bend those. I think structurally it would be better to weld it. Okay. Because then it'll have a point instead of one. I mean, I don't know if you being at the Arnardic or whatnot is going to make it one pull back. You know what I mean? Well, it's through bolting, so. 
Right, but up here, is it going to round out or something? Well, see, that's the thing. And how do I even bend it on the vise or something, right. you know, when that's only an inch and a half wide? Right. You know what I mean? I, I ain't going to get... It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that'll help prevent it. If it wants to move, it won't move that much. Right. Yep, I agree. Okay. Like round a groove in there. So you can get in deep. Oh yeah. There. Get in deep there. But I'll almost think. You just say you want it like almost at an angle. Come out at an angle, kind of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get a couple real good gnarly rolls in there and then pre it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I'm even thinking put some, you know, some heavy deep penetration welds there and there. Oh, yeah. And the there. Up. Right. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, run a few stringers down here. Mm -hmm. To build it up so that it's at a nice. I mean, even if you. Would you still want to grind it though to smooth it out? You know, well, that's going to depend a, on what your weld looks uh, like when it's all over. Are you a welder or are you a grinder? Sounds like a play in the